boxing. Not only names like Sibson and Christie, but also Mark Kaler and the European champion Harold Graham. Well, the most eagerly awaited fight in domestic boxing was the showdown that would produce one man to challenge for the world title. And that's what we had at Wembley last night as Graham put his European title on the line against Kaler. It was one of Wembley's big nights, a real big fight atmosphere. The parade of stars before the main attraction included Chris Pyatt, the European light middleweight champion, getting presented with his Lonsdale belt. Big reception also for Wembley's favourite, Frank Bruno. So that was matched by the reception for our newest world champion, Lloyd Hunnigan, the new world welterweight champion. But there was no doubting the bulk of the Wembley support at the Barrett Duff promotion was behind the Londoner Mark Kaler, no stranger to a highly charged atmosphere like last night's. It was a newer experience though for the defending champion Graham. In his 36 unbeaten fights, he would never have seen a night as important as this. Barney Eastwood in Graham's corner, lawless managing Kayla, everything on the line, and ringside, Harry Carpenter. Second count, round one. So much more than a European title at stake here tonight. It's a world title eliminator, and the crowd knows it, and the fighters know it. A big crowd here at Wembley, atmosphere tense. And who's going to make the better start? And we remember that in his last fight, Mark Kayla, the challenger here, was on the seat of his pants in the first round against an American. Well, he came back to win that one, but if he lets that happen to him against Graham, he might never get back yet. The long arms of Harold Graham, the champion, strike into the face of Kayla from West Ham. The Sheffield champion, looking aggressive and confident at the start. Here's a man who is probably the best defensive boxer in the country, but starting this fight with real aggression, and he's got Kayla in trouble on the ropes, and we're only 55 seconds into the fight. Well, Kayla's a dangerous man when he's hurt, and Graham clearly feels he can get this over quickly. He's taken the initiative right away from Mark in the opening seconds. Kayla's face red. Hurt again. So the needle fight that promised so much. Sizable contingent has come down from Sheffield for Graham. But the main cheers here tonight. For Kayla. If this goes the full 12 rounds like this, we are in for a treat. That was a brisk, confident, and very aggressive start by Harold Graham, who has this astonishing record, a pro for eight years now, won every pro fight he's ever had. You've got to go back to July 1978, when he was an amateur, to find the last man to beat him, an East German amateur called Marx, and that happened in East Germany. 1978, the year he won the ABA middleweight title. Second round, round two. Kaylor, very red around the nose and the eyes. He's had three defeats in his professional life, Mark Kaylor. And strangely enough, they've all been in this arena at Wembley. Kaylor, a pro for six years. Former holder of the British and Commonwealth middleweight titles. He's never won the European crown. He tried for it against Tony Simpson and came off second best. One of the most elusive fighters in the world, Harold Graham. Brilliantly defensive. A southpaw, of course, unorthodox. And Mark has only ever met one southpaw. 
in his life before. This is going to be a tough and perhaps rough fight between these two. Paylor shooting punches in with venom. out of the way of it in time. This has been a good round for Mark. Two good counter punches. You have to say that Kayla took that away from him on sheer steaming aggression. A pro for six years, Mark Kayla, now ranked uh, in the top four in the world, along with Graham, and uh, only three defeats, apart from uh, Tony Simpson, the other two men to beat him. Tony said with the United States, where Mark was disqualified for hitting after the bell, and Buster Drayton, who handed him his worst ever defeat, stopped him in seven rounds. And all those three defeats, as I said have been at Wembley Arena. Second round, round three. So let's say it's all square and we start again. This now is much more typical Harold Graham stuff. On the retreat, poking out the counter punches with the South Southpaw lead. And this is what one more expect to see from him than the all-out aggression he showed in the opening round. Graham, much the slimmer man of the two, but also the shorter man by some two inches. gets his punches through they get through with some accuracy and he's no mean puncher he's not just a defensive boxer when he turns on the power he can stop men as he has done he's stopped uh, 13 out of his last 14 opponents time was sadly underrated in London in fact he'd been a pro for four and a half years and he'd had 22 winning fights before London even offered him a fight <laughs> well since then he's made seven previous appearances and he stopped his man every time and Mark Taylor is in trouble on the ropes backed up on the ropes and he's got eye trouble Taylor has got trouble with his right eye the right eye is bleeding round three and the European champion, Harold Graham, now sees the chance of victory here. John Cole is going to look at this aisle. Surely that it's not going to be stopped because of this, is it? What a tragedy if it is. It depends where the cut is, how deep it is. Coyle looking right into it as Lawless wipes the blood away. Is he going to let him go on? Yes, he is. It looks in a very nasty place indeed, right over the right eye, underneath the eyebrow. Very awkward place on the lid. Mark pours the blood away again. This is going to hamper him badly. When you've got a man like Graham in front of you, the last thing you want is blood pouring into your eye. He 
came into the ring with that right eye, quite heavily greased. I suspect he might have had trouble sparring with that eye, because clearly the corner were concerned about it. And Lawless now goes to work. It's a nasty looking little cut. It's not a big cut, but it's in an awkward spot. Up on the eyelid. And Lawless not going to work with the uh, swab stick, but trying to pinch it together and stop the bleeding. And there must be a lot of confidence in that corner at Second this down. moment. Round four. Well, Kayla is never more dangerous than when he's hurt and in trouble. He's come up off the floor to win fights before now, so a cut eye isn't going to deter him too much. Might just be that the accurate counter punching of Graham will prove too much for that cut. There's no more courageous fighter in this country than Kaylor. And Graham almost heaves his man off the ground. I've seen him do that before to fighters. Well, there may be still a few people around who feel that uh, Graham is a defensive negative fighter. But surely, watching this, you really can't say that about him. He's coming through all the heat and fire and pressure that Kayla's putting on him and handling it superbly. Two good right hands on the left of the body from Kayla. And Graham takes him and still pulls his man around with tremendous strength. Kayla's been working with Alan Minter, who of course was a southpaw, the former world middleweight champion. Minter giving him a few tips on how to handle a southpaw. And Graham fights with his back to the ropes, just as well as if he was out in the center of the ring. They haven't heard the bell. There's the first sign of bad temper between the two of them. Tremendous punch up with Graham backed up on the ropes at the end of the round. Still giving as good as he's getting. And this crowd stamping their feet in approval. Let's look at those closing moments again. Because Kayla really was trying to nail his man here. He had him on the ropes. But Graham was fighting back just as well as though he was standing out in the clear. And the fighting and uh, the exchange of punches was so furious here that they didn't hear the bell. And on and on they went for several seconds after the bell sounded. Second down, round five. Well, the Kayla corner really have done a good job on that eye of Kayla's because it hasn't fled again. between these two men from Britain. The atmosphere is so much different when you get two men from this country together with something important at stake. This place is alive with excitement. Still getting through to the head. And Graham showing tremendous resilience. No matter what Kayla does, he comes back with something better. And he totally bemused Mark there. 
And again, he's getting punches through again and again. The rate of exchange at this moment, four, five, six to one. And this is a world-class fight. Make no mistake. Nice to see a really big crowd in the old Wembley Arena. And the co-promoters, Mike Barrett and Mickey Duff, will be delighted to see him here. still unmarked, more than you can say for Kalos. And once again, Graham backed up to the ropes, fights off them beautifully as the bell ends the fifth round of a scheduled 12 rounder for the European middleweight championship. These two men being well paid tonight. Harold Graham, the champion, be believed to be getting 90,000 pounds or thereabouts, and Kayla something like 60,000. John Coyle, I wonder what he's got on his card. Some of the rounds have been quite close. I've got uh, Graham ahead at this point. But there's a long, long way to go. Second half, round six. Well, the first five rounds have gone by in a flash. They always do when you have a good fight. The bad ones are interminable. Corner, corner. And still, as you can see, inside, good punches being landed. Graham getting the come forward signal from his corner. Clearly that corner feels that Kayla might be tiring, but to my eyes, he doesn't seem to be. <laughs> Kayla staying inside and doing the better work. Stood around too long, and got caught coming up. Oh, good left round. So once again, the resilience of the champion is proved. Got himself caught on the ropes, took some punches, but still comes back strongly. And that bell has perhaps given Mark Taylor a much needed respite there. He was beginning to get whacked rather hard when that bell came. So this fight swings first one way and then the other. But it seems to me that each time Graham just has that edge over Kayla. Perhaps because he's marginally the better boxer. And there certainly was one left hand here he threw, which was a super punch, that one. Which got right past the guard. And if Kayla wasn't such a strong and gutsy fighter, that might have done him a lot of damage. Second up, round seven. So the first half of this European title fight is completed. And I have Graham ahead, not by much. sure about this but there might be some blood on Graham's face Somewhere around the right eye it looks a bit red difficult to see there certainly was some cracking of heads not too sure That was a 
false alarm about Graham's eye. I can't see any blood there now, but it did look red for a time. Beginning to be a key punch in this fight. Well, he's bleeding slightly from the nose, and I think a bit of that may have got transferred. No, they are tending to the right eye, so there is a slight cut there. There is indeed. Well, it wasn't easy to see, but it looked as though there was some redness around that right eye. It's not bleeding very badly, but now that means both of them are cut above the right eyes. Well, Kayla had a hard rounder and he took some good shots and then he came back with one good right, that one, inside. And you see how Graham instantly came inside and stayed there for a bit to get a rest. Second down, round eight. So the marks of battle on both men now of a truly tremendous fight. Kayla over the years pro six years now he has given value for money never has a dull fight you hear that cut into the head from here and he was on the other side of the ring you can see what would happen to Kayla if he slowed up because the moment he stands off he gets caught again and again Kalor really does have to keep the pressure on and keep attacking if he's going to take this title. Because the moment he slows up, Graham is in there and at him. And this round is showing you how it's done. And that took a lot out of Mark as well. But still the guts of this man bring him forward. But he's picking up too many punches, Kalor now. Round eight. The battle swinging Graham's way. Graham still light on his feet, still whacking that left hand in. That's the punch which has caught Kaylor again and again. The southpaw's left. But Kaylor's still coming back at him. And the going is getting harder and harder for the challenger. And this time Kaylor goes in and hangs on, and he's very, very tired. Graham's bleeding from the nose. Both men now tired, very tired, and we're only in the eighth, four to go after this. Graham beginning to look a bit weary himself as though he's almost worn himself out, punching Taylor. Taylor hangs on now, looks desperately tired. They're both glad to break it off at the end of that tremendous eighth round. And Graham came out on top of it. And it does seem to me now that the battle is surely swinging his way. Although, with Kayla, you can never tell. John Coyle has been called over, and they've pulled Kayla out of the fight. They've pulled Kayla out at the end of the eighth round. Harold Graham is the winner. Now, whether it's the damage to the eye or whether Lawless feels that he hasn't got enough left, I'm not sure yet. But Lawless has retired his man, and Harold Graham has kept his 100% record, and he's the one who will go forward to greater things in the middleweight world. And Mark Kayla once again suffers defeat. 
in the big one. And that'll be a sad night for Kayla, but a triumphant one My Lord, for Harold Graham. And gentlemen, but again, a disappointing Mark ending. Kayla's eye was giving him a lot of trouble, and his manager has withdrawn him. And the referee agreed at the finish of round eight. The winner and still middleweight champion of Europe is Harold Graham. So the official decision is that Terry Lawless decided to pull Taylor out because he was having too much trouble with the injury on the right eye. I think also he was getting desperately tired and he was beginning to pick up a lot of punches and the fight seemed to me to be swinging Rose way. And I think perhaps Lawless thought, well, he's had his chance and he's had a go. Why let him suffer too much? Taylor, I think, will be bitterly disappointed and won't like being pulled out. But nonetheless, that's it. Eight rounds of tremendous battling leaving Harold Bomber Graham still with his 100% professional record and now looking forward to 1987 to go to meet perhaps Thomas Hearns or even Marvin Hagler. Must have been quite relieved when they pulled him out at the end of the eighth. He hadn't got to go on. Well, I was relieved, yeah, because he was giving me a hard fight. He was giving me such a hard fight, but I, cut, I got on top of him after that. Can we just have a look at that little cut you got? Do you have a little cut by the right eye there? Not serious? No, it isn't serious. It's a, a slight clash of heads, but uh, it was nothing. It weren't deliberate anyway. Anybody who's watched you fighting over the years knows you're not a quitter. So what happened at the end of the eighth round? Did you want to pull out? Mm -hmm. um, Terry Lodge pulled me out. You know, it was, uh, it was a one-horse race. He wanted to pull me out of the seventh round, the end of the seventh round. Um, you know, I never wanted to, I never wanted to come out, but um, I had no choice in the matter. He just called the referee over. Once you, once you, your manager, a trainer calls the uh, referee over, that's it, that's it, that's the end of the story. So you've got no arguments. What about the future, Mark? What does that hold for you? The future now holds um, a, a talk with Terry Lawrence, the manager. Um, I don't want to box anymore at 11 stone six. You know, I have to draw out to make 11 stone six, and uh, perhaps the super middleweight would be more comfortable for me in the future. So it's Harold Graham into the final, as it were, number one contender for Marvin Hagler's world middleweight title. But that fight with Hagler is only a distant prospect at the moment. Hagler has been contracted to fight Sugar Ray Leonard in Las Vegas on April the 6th, a fight that could gross him $100 million. But on December the 15th, unless there are further developments, the